Hi guys, this is Grace Pamela, Samana.com, and I'm going to show you how to use the new light and airy presets um, in Adobe Camera Raw or ACR. Okay, so I already have them loaded, so I'm going to go ahead and select my image that I want to um, edit in Adobe Camera Raw using the new presets. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go up to Filter, then we'll go to Camera Raw Filter. Select that, and here I have all of my editing settings for editing a raw photo. To get to the presets, I'm going to go over here to where it says presets, and then here you'll see that they are uploaded. So I'm going to go ahead and use a drop down menu, and here we have all of our settings. The way that these are set up is so you can easily select your exposure if needed, otherwise, if you are finding that it's just not enough. Um, not strong enough or whatever reason you can go to basic and you'll see the exposure settings here and then you can go up or down okay so I'm gonna go back to the presets here and here are the base presets that you can use you can go down and find which one works best for you and don't forget also each one is customizable completely um, using the other settings as well as the settings down here that I'll show you. So don't be afraid if you see something that doesn't work, you can still make it work. Each of them are different um, completely for different uh, images. So some of them might work better on outdoor images, some of them might work better inside the studio. It all really just um, depends on the image and what settings you already have it at. This image is really dark to begin with, so I wanted to show you that um, just kind of how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use Promise Cloud. Otherwise, there are others again that you can use. For this image, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to go down, and you can see that there's other um, presets as well to help further edit your image if needed. So you can add a, a curve pop, um, adjust the shadows as much as you need. And you can kind of hover back and forth to see what it does. Um, hazy light, save highlights, adjust the coolness and warmth, uh, auto white balance, bright and white. Uh, you can keep going through and see all of the options. Now if you're finding that you don't like how some of them are affecting the skin tones, which can be a common complaint for presets, you can go over to the other settings and you can adjust them even more. So if you go into uh, HSL adjustments here, you'll see that you can adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance. So there's a lot of orange here, so you can kind of adjust it as you like per photo. And if there's a lot of redness, then you want to bring some of the redness down, and so on. And if you adjust the hue, you can completely change the color of it too. Okay, so just wanted to show you that it is perfectly um, fine to do that as well, just in case that happens. But I wanted to show you so you have the capabilities of changing it, just in case. Okay, and then you also have um, all these add-ons as well. So you can add grain, sharpness, make it smooth for a fine art look, and all of that fun stuff. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you that you can do is once you have your image set kind of how you like it, if you want more of an impact, now this image isn't the greatest example for that, but I'll show you anyways for um, different images. But if you want a greater impact, you can go ahead and select open, and it will open your image the way that you edited it. But if you want to, you can also go to filter and camera filter, and you can add on more presets or mix and match them as well. That's something that I kind of like to do um, when applying them, and you can kind of play with it. So I kind of like this one, but the skin is still a little too orange. Okay, so just a quick example, I just wanted to show you um, how fun it is to mix and match sometimes. So here's the before and then the after. Um, 
again, this isn't the greatest image. It's not really that big of a difference. But other images that I've done, um, I definitely love how that looks. Um, so I think I pretty much covered everything on how to use the Lightinary uh, presets. They are compatible with Lightroom as well as Adobe Camera Raw. If you are wanting to use these in Lightroom, we do have a tutorial that's separate uh, to show you how to do that in both uh, Lightroom Classic CC and uh, Cloud CC. So be sure to watch those if you want to edit them in Lightroom as well. Um, and if you have any questions further on how to edit uh, using the Adobe Camera Raw presets, let me know anytime at support at Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!